Um, the MSD score is a test that utilizes 18 different blood biomarkers, and it gives you four disease pathway scores and then an overall disease activity score. Um, the disease activity score ranges from one to 10, so one to four, four and a half to seven, and seven and a half to 10, and that's low, moderate, and high risk for a potential relapse or particularly a new GAD enhancing lesion. Um, clinical advantages, I think that this can be helpful in many ways. I think it really is precision medicine for the first time in MS. Um, it's a good way that you can find a baseline for patients. Where does a patient stand from the first time you're getting this test? And then follow them longitudinally over time. It's another way that you can use their subjective symptomatology and combine it with objective data, making the invisible visible per se. Um, I think it will be helpful for clinicians in the future, not only for pre and post treatment, but really to watch these patients over time. Are all of these biomarkers considered equal? Are there more that you value more than others? Just what's your thoughts on that? I think that's a good question. Being at Actrams the last few days, I've heard so much about NFL and GFAP, but I think the most amazing part of this score is it really looks at all 18. One alone is not as reliable as when you can really combine all these different numbers together and then get your score. So I think all of them in uniform is what makes this score so special. You're talking a little bit about the results specifically, can you just dive into the, the sort of five cases that you guys looked at, as yeah. well as you know what stood out to you? Was there anything that you may have not expected or things of that sort? Yeah, so each case was a little bit different. I think the one that stuck out the most to me um, was that we had a patient um, that relapsed on a high efficacy therapy, um, You know, one that you wouldn't expect them to have a relapse on. Um, and we checked um, the disease activity score on them and it was an eight, so indicating that they were high risk. And then we also got an MRI, which had new lesions kind of corresponding to that. Um, so I think that right there kind of shows you that it can be high during a relapse. And then another case that was also interesting is we had a patient that had a relapse and then was switched to a high efficacy therapy. And after being on the high efficacy therapy, her score was a one, so very low. So I think it just shows you how much that the disease correlates you know, with the treatment that you're on. And then, you know, one more patient that we had, it was kind of for a baseline test. So this patient was not on therapy and her score was a six, kind of showing she is in that moderate risk group and she is at risk for relapse. So I'm curious to kind of follow these patients over time and see how their scores change. Yeah.